Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here, no matter where you are, what part of the world you're in, I hope that you're having a good day. So this is a message for my sisters, the ladies. If you've been in a relationship with a man for years and he doesn't want to marry you, and I'm not talking to the people who don't believe in legal marriage, who would rather live together because they don't want to, um, you know, their relationship to be you know, controlled by the government. I'm not talking to those people, right? Um, so if you're in a relationship and you just chose not to get married, again, this this is not for you. But this is for the ladies who want to be married and they're with a partner that they've been with for years. They may or may not live together and they want to be married and they talk about getting married all the time. And this man says, I don't want to, or it's not the right time, or I'd rather wait, whatever it is. Again, he may admit that he just doesn't want to. So if he doesn't want to, that means that you have to accept that he doesn't want to. But what is what is it about you that's making you stay with this person who does not want to be in a marriage when you want to be? Why are you staying? What do you need to build up within yourself to make you not tolerate Dealing with someone who does not value you or see your value. Now, they may see your value in a way that um, benefits them, but not enough to marry you. And again, you want to be married. So why are you in a relationship with someone who doesn't want to marry you, if that's what you want? Why keep trying to convince this person that they should marry you, knowing that they don't want to? Because the same person, if you leave this person, they'll probably go and end up getting married to someone else. Why? Because that person required it. And that person decided, I'm not going to deal with you if you don't marry me. Because a lot of people, men and women, are in a relationship with someone that they don't really want to be with. Right? But it's because of this person's career or job or income or status. Um you know, or upbringing, so it makes them look good in front of other people, you know, or it's the trophy husband or the trophy wife or the trophy girlfriend or the trophy boyfriend, you know, they make them look good, right? But again, this person doesn't really want to be with you and they have one foot in, one foot out. They're not really with you. They're potentially holding on to the one who got away. That man or that woman that they really wanted to be in a relationship with, who they did wrong, and that person left them. And so they just settled for you because maybe they were on a rebound um, or maybe they needed a place to stay and they know you would be gullible enough to allow them to move in with you. Um, and I'm saying this because I've seen this happen a lot of times. Again, it could be because of income or status. Um, or one person has a car and the other one doesn't. Whatever that convenience factor is for that person. And, you know, they may be love bombed you or gaslit you to make you think that they really liked you. But behind the scenes, again, they have one foot in and one foot out. They don't really want to be there with you. They're there with you because um, maybe some people even stay for children. Some people, you know... Say, oh, we've bought all these things together. We have all these assets, all these investments, right? Now, there are people who have investments, who have children, who have whatever it is, and they still get divorced. <laughs> so why are you staying with someone, again, who doesn't honor you in a way that you feel like you should be honored? This person is treating you this way because you're allowing it, and you think that's what you deserve. So why do you think you deserve to be with someone who doesn't really want to be with you? That's a question you need to answer for yourself. Love y'all.